Las Vegas gunman was prescribed drugs linked to violent outbursts. Las Vegas massacre gunman Stephen Paddock was taking a drug linked to violent outbursts in yet another example of mass shooter being on pharmaceutical medication that causes aggressive behavior. According to the Las Vegas Review Journal, Paddock was prescribed an anti-exotic drug in June that can lead to aggressive behavior. The drug in question, diazepam, more commonly referred to as its brand name Valium, was prescribed by Henderson's physician Dr. Stephen Winkler on June 21st, and Paddock purchased 50 10 mg diazepam tablets from the Wall Screen store in Reno on the same day. Paddock was also previously prescribed the same drug in 2016. The article cites drugabuse.com, which warns diazepam can trigger aggressive behavior and psychotic episodes which can be amplified by alcohol consumption. If somebody has an underlying aggressive problem and that you seduce them with that drug, they can become aggressive, said Dr. Mel Farrell, name on the screen, Chief Medical Officer of the Las Vegas Recovery Center. It can disinhibit any underlying emotional state. It's much like what happens when you give alcohol to some people. They become aggressive instead of going to sleep. A 2015 study published in the World Society found that teens convicted of homicide were 45% more likely to kill during time periods when they were on bihazepine. However, Dr. Michael Fiss points out that Paddock's attack was attack previously premedicated, carefully planned, and could not have occurred on a whim. Although he acknowledges the reason behind why Paddock was prescribed diazepam might explain why he did what he did. Okay, so you want to give us some details? As previously highlighted, virtually every major mass shooter was taking some form of SSRI or other pharmaceutical drug at the time of their attack, including Columbine killer Eric Bat Harris, Batman shooter, James Holmes, Charleston Church shooter Daniel Diane Ruth, and Sandy Hook gunman Adam Lance. As the website SSRI story profusely documents, there are literally hundreds of examples of mass shooters, murderers, and other violent episodes that have been committed by individuals on psychiatric drugs over the past three decades. Pharmaceutical giants who purchase drugs like Zoloft, Prozac, and Provix, might be mispronouncing, spend around $2.4 billion a year on direct-to-customer television advertising every year. By running negative stories about prescription drugs, network risk losing tens of millions of dollars in ad revenue, which undoubtedly one of the primary reasons why connection is unhabitably downplayed or ignored entirely. So guys, what do I think about all this? Well, first of all, the, yes, the article is actually from InfoWars. I know some people don't like them, but regardless... But at the end of the day, a lot of alternative media are actually reporting on this, so it does give it a little bit more credibility. Regardless of what you're turning around saying about Alex turning the frogs gay, their journalism is actually pretty solid. A lot of their stuff is actually factual. He just needs to frame it better. But as for the shooter, I tell you what, if it's actually true, and this is actually coming out and it's factual, this is yet another shooter that is on prescription drugs from Big Pharma. And instead of going through and talking about gun control, why don't we go and talk about pharmaceutical control? Because I tell you what, they, they are right in one thing. A lot of mass shooters are on pharmaceutical drugs. A lot of them are on this diazepam and, and all these sort of Valium and on all these sort of drugs. And nobody seems to want to talk about it, which is really weird. <clears throat> but anyway, but guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that the diazepam may have made him do this? Or or do you think it might have been a trigger? Or, or do you reckon he might have taken it so that he didn't feel emotions or something when he was doing this? Like it was, it helped the premeditation? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I will see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.